with the weather. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich joins us now to explain, Brad. Yeah, remember on Friday we were talking about the possibility of this heading to the Carolina Saturday morning. Now it first started up in Alaska. That's where the Pentagon got some of the first reports or at least the first monitored reports that there was possibly a balloon over parts of Alaska. Then it moved over Canada into parts of Montana where people started seeing it. We got some of the first images of the balloon over Montana from citizens and the National Weather Service even reported seeing it because they said it wasn't one of their weather balloons. Then the jet stream continued to push to the south and east and reports started coming in from Kansas and Missouri. We got additional reports from northwest Missouri and eastern Kansas. It was during the day, so it was very visible. Then we could see it pushing further south and east in the jet stream through parts of Tennessee. And by early in the morning on Saturday, we got reports from the western Carolinas around sunrise and right around 9 to 10 a.m. in the Charlotte area. I was able actually to go out in the backyard and we could actually see it traveling over Charlotte right around that time. It continued to push off to the south and east and eventually moved off the coast of South Carolina near Myrtle Beach, where the video started coming in of people actually seeing it being shot down by those F-22. So even though the Pentagon said there was some control with this balloon, the jet stream did most of the work and got it all the way to the Carolinas, guys. It's just wow. amazing. It is see. amazing. Yeah. yeah, and it was quite the spectacle. Let's talk about the forecast and how the weather, <laughs> man, when we saw that balloon, it was pretty